Hey guys, this is the part 2 of my video on the ranking process on becoming a public school teacher. So let's hop into it. Now let's go again to the website and we will be tackling the ranking guidelines and point system. So we have seven criteria for this. The first one is education. Now after graduating, after earning a degree um, of secondary education or elementary education or anything that is related to education, it will be based on your general weighted average or your average as a whole. So, so the higher grade you get, of course, the higher points you will be earning. Now, the second one is teaching experience. Now, I'll, I'll be linking it down on the description box below to give you the complete description of the pointing system for all of the criteria. For the teaching experience, you see to it that you have the certificate of employment or else it won't be validated. Hindi nila tatanggapin na... It's not just verbal kasi. You should have proof of everything of of your documents. Kailangan meron kayong proof. Now, let and rating, as what I've said on my previous video, kailangan certified photocopy siya or else it won't be valid. Specialized training and skills, you see to it na 10 days siya for you to have a perfect score. Kasi during the verification of documents, they will be asking you, how many days have you spent during the seminar or during this training? So, kailangan makaroon ka ng 10 days na training. Now, for the interview, demonstration, teaching, and communication skills, I'll be sharing to you my experience during uh, this ranking. Okay, so for interview, um, the principal asked me three questions, actually. Uh, the first one is... What are the preparations or what is my prepar uh, what are my preparations before the ranking? So I told her uh, after earning the degree of Bachelor of Secondary Education, I took the LET examination. I enrolled at St. Paul University to earn a master's degree. And right now, thankfully, I've passed the comprehensive examination. So by May, I'll be graduating. But of uh, yung master master of arts degree ko uh, from St. Paul it won't be uh, it's not validated sa education remember I, I told you that kailangan meron kang TOR or meron kang proof sa mga documents mo so for the education master holder lang na meron na agad TOR yun yung magkakaroon na additional points now for my in my case it's not validated. So, sayang din yung points na yun. I, all I thought na ma, ma validate siya for me to have more points. Pero, so sad to say, hindi ko din naman siya magagamit. M maybe for now, hindi ko pa siya magagamit. But right after getting a TOR, yun, ma magagamit ko. So, my tip for you guys, right after um, earning your degree on sa college, uh, you enroll yourself. Mag, in, mag proceed kayo to you enroll yourself sa graduate studies. Kasi madami madami kayong matututunan. It will boost your confidence. And sometimes meron kayong magiging kaklase na mga principal na coordinators or something. So, hindi naman nababase yan sa age. So, ayan. Next question was uh, how do you hold the student's attention? So with this, I told her that I incorporate traditional to mod with modern technological advancements because as, uh, as we are handling 21st century learners or students, they find it boring to listen to lectures. <laughs> That's why we need to prepare videos, we need to prepare games to entice or to motivate them. And the last one was, what was the best 
teaching method or teaching strategy that you've used. So I lang, I just I just answered her uh, doing collaborative works because kailangan na kasi na uh, all of the activities of the students are all in group activities, right? Yeah. So afterwards, after the interview, ayun na, uh, we did the demonstration teaching. Now, for the demo, for the demo, I handled grade 10, section diamond. So, at first, of course, kakabahan ka naman before the actual demo. But they are really participative since they know that it is a demonstration teaching. So, they are participative. Wala masyadong maingay. Yeah, but, but, that's, but sometimes that's not the reality. Because you can take that. You cannot take that away from the kids. Especially the younger generation. Maingay talaga sila. Uh, but it went well. Now, note that in a demonstration teaching, wag na kayong mag in doing the application or the group activity activity part kasi ikakat din kayo so make sure na yung gagawan nyo ng bonggang visual aids or visual materials your introduction the motivation and the lesson proper pag, pag natapos na kayo sa lesson proper it's usually cut so yung group activities your generalization your evaluation and assignment Usually, hindi na yun tinatapos. So, don't, uh, don't waste your time on doing visual aids for assignment or for generalization. Kasi ikakat na agad kayo yan. You can just imagine, there's a lot of co- or there are a lot of co-applicants. So, in just one day. So, iisipin mo din, paano kayo matatapos lahat, right? So, that means... You will be just given 15 to 20 minutes para matapos mo yung lesson mo. Yung tinitingnan lang naman dyan ng mga teachers that will be judging you is how you present yourself, how you handle the class, your voice, uh, your teaching strategies. So, yun lang naman yung titingnan yun eh. And additional points the new visual aid so make sure that you incorporate traditional to the modern one make sure meron ka rin visual aids just like say for example you have uh, you are categorizing two different sections now you can give to the students words and then you, you'll be giving it to them and then they will be pasting it on the board so it will be interactive so hindi siya boring and lastly guys is the communication skills now this is what we call the english proficiency test now madaming kinaka of course kakabahan ka din naman with the examination but you just imagine you've been studying english your whole life i mean since primary until college you've been studying english for that long so the English proficiency test lang din naman, it will be testing your grammar. Uh, meron dyang comprehension. Meron sentence structure. So, you will be choosing what is wrong with the sentence. Ayun lang naman. Uh, basic, ba uh, well, you can say it basic English. But make sure that you really study and you take your time because you will be given two hours for the examination. Don't rush. Because sometimes you will find other items to be easy. Just, just don't rush and make sure that you bring your ID or photocopy of your ID, a pencil, Mongol 2. And yeah. Now, if ever that you will be passing all of the criteria, make sure that you hit 70 points for you to be called uh, or for you to be one of the registry of qualified applicants now i hope that you find this video helpful if you did don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe for me to make more videos like this so good luck with your application and i see you in my next video